welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to do a book haul. I have gotten quite a few books since we last did a book haul and I figured we'd go through them real quick. I have no plans really to get uh, many more books before the holiday season. I have two pre-orders. Other than those two pre-orders I don't have any hardcore like let's get book plans so I figured I would just show you everything I've gotten so far since we last talked books. That way I can focus on reading these books until the holiday season comes around. So let's go ahead and get started. The fir first up I have the Barnes & Noble editions of The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King by Holly Black. I pre-ordered the Barnes & Noble editions when they were coming back out uh, with a birthday gift card that I got from May uh, and I'm very much so excited that I actually have these in my collection. Uh, I'm going to be getting Queen of Nothing. That is like the one thing I know I'm going to be trying to get because uh, I know that these ones definitely went out real quick and I just really like the black editions on top of white editions. This is something I have been loving and I'm very much so looking forward to the conclusion. This isn't a wrap up or a series review. I just picked up these ones because I've been loving the series. Speaking of series I love, I also picked up the collector's edition of Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I also have the collector's edition of Six of Crows and I just love how these ones look. Speaking of Lee Bardugo, I also have Ninth House in the Waterstones exclusive edition. Uh, I'm very much so looking forward to getting to this book so I figured I would pre-order this really pretty edition that I'm very much so looking forward to getting into. Next I have a finished copy of The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. This was a book that I absolutely loved when I got an e-arc of it through Edelweiss from the publisher and I cannot stop thinking about it. I'm desperately waiting for the sequel to it so I figured I would go ahead and pick this one up just so I could have it in my collection because I loved this one. Speaking of books that I really enjoyed that I had gotten arcs of, I also picked up The Tea Dragon Festival by Katie O'Neill. If I hadn't gotten an arc of this one I definitely would have been purchasing it myself. I just love the tea dragons that Katie O'Neill does and so I definitely wanted a finished copy for my shelves to go next to The Tree Dragon Society. I've already mentioned this one briefly before but I picked up Heartstopper Volume 2. I really was enjoying this series when I was reading this during Contemporary Thon so I had picked up the second one. Another book that I had been really anticipating was Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the sequel to City of Ghosts and this was the Loosely Bound book club pick of the month for October so I wanted to go ahead and get my own copy especially since I really enjoyed the first book so I wanted to have my own copy for the second book. I received an arc of Bringing Down the Duke by E.B. Dunmore through Goodreads from a giveaway because I actually want a Goodreads giveaway and I have since read it so be on the lookout for my September wrap-up for more thoughts on this one. The next couple of books I've already briefly mentioned because I talked about them in my Back from Booknet Fest tag as well as my Booknet Fest blog so I'll briefly run through them. Those books are Listen to Your Heart by Casey West, Gilded Wolves by Roshni Tachki, Jim Lovelies by Megan Shepard, and Alexa Dunn's new book The Stars. I have br briefly mentioned that I picked this one up before but I haven't actually called it and that is House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. I also picked up a finished copy of Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I absolutely love this book when I read an e arc of it so I figured I'd get a finished copy for my shelf. I went ahead and picked up Renchi Pico's new book The Never Tilting World because I absolutely have been loving everything I've read by Rin Chipico. I figured I would go ahead and support Rin Chipico's newest work. I also picked up the illustrated edition of Goblet of Fire. This is my favorite Harry Potter book so obviously I would be picking this one up. Um, I'm a little disappointed there aren't that many illustrations and there's like whole chapters where there's like one like little doodle. I'm very happy that I have this one because this is my favorite Harry Potter book. And the last two things are my two book of the month picks. And the first one is a thriller called The Chestnut Man. I picked this one up because it's a thriller. It's a bit chunky, um, but I definitely wanted to try a thriller. And the last book I picked up was Fate of the Fallen. This is a fantasy book and I was already planning on pre-ordering this one. I definitely have to go reorganize my bookshelves again. But what about you? What have you recently picked up? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you saw here today, be sure to like and subscribe. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.